Hi, it's Nikki from Cosmos, here with your intermediate exit games. So first of all, this is one from last year, it's Professor's Last Riddle. So your archaeology professor has died, uh, he has left no will, he just left you an envelope with um, some postcards in. So grab your passport and you're going to go on a global treasure hunt. Next up we have The Disappearance of Sherlock Holmes, he's one of our bestsellers, doing really, really well. A famous journalist has been murdered and Sherlock has been framed for this, so Dr Watson's got you involved to try and... Um, basically clear Sherlock's name. Uh, a new one coming up this year is The Hunt to Amsterdam. So um, there is a clue to a previously unknown masterpiece by Van Gogh and has been discovered in Amsterdam, but you are not the only person that uh, knows about this and so you are trying to solve the riddles and get to the masterpiece before the other person does and basically you know, save the day. The Secret Lab, this is quite an old one, one of our first games. So you have volunteers that were needed for um, a research study, but when you get to the lab there's nobody actually there but there's this strange vapour coming from a test tube and when you wake up after feeling dizzy uh, the doors are locked and you need to try and find your way out before you, know, you meet a terrible end basically. These are all 12 plus by the way. Uh, next up the polar station, another early one, this is actually the first one that I ever did. Uh, you are a member of a research team in the Arctic, uh, suddenly the activation, evacuation alarm goes off and you find that obviously your doors are locked so you can't actually evacuate. <laughs> These things happen. Um, looking through the window, you can see that the other lab has been destroyed, so you, you know that you are on a bit of a ticking time bomb trying to get out of there in time. So, the Sinister Manson, Mansion. Uh, you're invited as guests to a palatial mansion, um, but there are some macabre games afoot here, so you're trying to get out before something terrible happens to you. The Forgotten Island. This one's a relatively easy one, I feel, for the, for the kind of level. Uh, you have an idyllic day out sailing, but then you are caught in a storm. Um, you capsize and find yourself on an island and then you find like a gold disc uh, and a very mysterious message. So that's quite a good one. Uh, this is a bit more of a whodunit one. This is Theft on the Mississippi, another fairly recent one. Uh, it's 1872, you're on board a steamboat in the Mississippi heading to New Orleans uh, and there is a burglary on board and you have to try and solve the crime. Next we have the Cemetery of the Night. So a bit of a darker one. Um, every 87 years the moon is in the perfect angle to help you find the missing treasure of Sir Reginald Reston and tonight is the night. So can you solve the mystery and cover the secret? Uh, this one's a bit of a different one. This is the Gate Between Worlds. Um, you have an ancient map that leads to a circular kind of iron gate uh, hidden in the cave. Um, and when you manage to find your way through you head off to kind of different worlds and there's different maps for the different worlds. Uh, so it's a different kind of feel from your normal exit game but it still has like a decoder and stuff like that and some cards but um it's like a different feel good fun though really enjoyed that one myself uh then we have kidnapped in fortune city another kind of whodunit the sheriff has gone missing there's mayhem in in this frontier town and um you have to go to all the different kind of locations in the game like the bank and, and the saloon and things like that and try and get uh, evidence from the townspeople and figure out who done it uh, and then here we go, we talked about this one in the last video, so our first ever exit game was the Abandoned Cabin and this one is the Return to the Abandoned Cabin which is like the five year uh, anniversary edition if you like, it kind of links in with it. Um, you are returning to the cabin where it, it all began in the woods, um, can you solve the clues to find Professor Funbeck and send him back to prison? So there we go, these are all as I said around about 12 plus, they all take kind of one to two hours. Um, some are easier than others, but they're all in that kind of intermediate level. So I hope you enjoy them. And if you have any questions, obviously come back to us. Uh, get in touch with me, uh, games at thamesandcosmos.co.uk. Um, have a lovely day. Bye.